Scorched rice, also known as crunchy rice, is a thin crust of slightly browned rice at the bottom of the cooking pot. It is produced during the cooking of rice over direct heat from a flame. Varieties China Guba simplified Chinese, guo ba traditional Chinese, guo ba pinyin, guo ba is eaten as a snack, used as an ingredient in dishes with thick sauces, or served in soups and stews. Guba lit. Pan adherence. Sometimes known as mi guba, mi guo ba lit, rice guba is a Chinese food ingredient consisting of scorched rice. Traditionally guba forms during the boiling of rice over direct heat from a flame. This results in the formation of a crust of scorched rice on the bottom of the wok or cooking vessel. This scorched rice has a firm and crunchy texture with a slight toasted flavor, and is sometimes eaten as a snack. Guba is also used as an ingredient in many Chinese dishes with thick sauces, since the bland taste of the scorched rice takes on the flavor of the sauces. Guba is also served in soups and stews and prominently featured in Sichuan cuisine. Since demand for guba outstrips traditional production and modern ways of cooking rice in electric rice cookers do not produce it, guba has been commercially manufactured since the late 20th century. <inaudible> <inaudible> Indonesia In Indonesia, especially central Java, scorched rice is called intip. It is a specialty Wanogiri regency. The rice cracker is made from the hardened semi-burnt rice that sticks to the inner bottom of rice cooking vessels. These cooking vessels are filled with water to loosen up the stuck rice. After it is separated from the cooking vessel, the stuck rice is sun-dried until it loses all of its liquid contents. The dried sticky rice is later deep-fried in a lot of cooking oil to create a crispy rice cracker. In Indonesia there is a similar rice cracker called Renghinang. Unlike intip however, it is not made from scorched rice salvaged from the bottom of rice cooking vessel, but created separately from steamed sticky rice, boiled, seasoned, made into a flat and rounded shape, and sun-dried prior to deep frying in ample cooking oil. <inaudible> Iran Ta dig is served to guests at a meal. Tadig Persian, th dig ta, bottom, plus dig, pot, is a specialty of Iranian cuisine consisting of crisp rice taken from the bottom of the pot in which the rice cello is cooked. It is traditionally served to guests at a meal. Ingredients commonly added to tadig include yogurt and saffron, bread, potato, and tomato. Variations of tadig include placing thin vegetable slices at the bottom of the pot, so they crisp up instead of the rice. These vegetables include potato, carrots, and lettuce. Iranians sometimes apply this cooking method to spaghetti as well, providing a hardened base. Topic: <inaudible> Iraq. <inaudible> Iraqi rice cooking is similar to the method used for Persian cello, a multi-step process intended to produce tender, fluffy grains of rice. A prominent aspect of Iraqi rice cooking is the hakaka, a crisp bottom crust. It differs slightly from the Persian tadig, which is a single thick piece. The hakaka contains some loose rice as well. Before serving, the hakaka is broken into pieces so that everyone is provided with some along with the fluffy rice. Japan Okoge is eaten with vegetables or moistened with water, soup, or tea. Okoge ojaogi okoge is Japanese food, usually rice, that has been scorched or blackened. Until electric rice cookers came into common use in the 20th century, rice in Japan was cooked in a kamado, a traditional stove heated by wood or charcoal. Because regulating the heat of a wood or charcoal fire is more difficult, a layer of rice at the bottom of the pot would often be slightly burned during cooking. This layer, called okoge, was not discarded, but was eaten with vegetables or moistened with water, soup, or tea. Okoge is still eaten in Japanese cuisine, and is an important part of the keizeki meal served at tea ceremonies, where it is typically served with hot water and pickles as the final course. 
It has a crispy texture and a nutty flavor. Because the cooking temperature of modern electric rice cookers is precisely controlled, okoge does not usually form naturally during the cooking process. However, there are rice cookers on the market in Japan that have an okoge setting. Okoge can also be made by scorching cooked rice in a frying pan. Korea Nurungji is eaten as a snack, infused in hot water to make sungnyung scorched rice tea, or reboiled in water to make juk porridge. Nurungji hangul, nulungji or scorched rice is a traditional Korean food made of scorched rice. After boiling and serving rice, a thin crust of scorched rice will usually be left in the bottom of the cooking pot. This yellowed scorched state is described as nureyan in Korean. Nurungji derives from this adjective. Nurungji can be eaten in its crisp state as a snack or as an after-meal rice tea by adding hot water or reboiled with water to make nureyan bap, nulunbab or nurungji bap. Nurungji in its broad sense also refers to the crisp crust that forms at the bottom of the pots and pans when cooking various rice dishes such as dalsit bibimbap, dalsit bibimbap and bakumbap. Nurungji is traditionally known for its medicinal attributes. According to records in the 17th century medical book Dongi Bogum, Nurungji was called quigunban, quijinban kui gan fan, and considered as a remedy when food does not swallow easily, upsets the stomach, and induces vomiting. It is also being lauded as a well being sick food in South Korea. South Korean companies made Nurungji available in a various pre packaged forms around the mid 2000s. Besides sweet fried nurungji snacks and instant nurungji to make nurunbap, many nurungji flavor products were also developed such as candies and tea. Nurungji is also being used as an ingredient for a variety of new dishes like nurungji beksuk and nurungji pizza. Mentions of nurungji in folklore are common, the most famous being a folk song recognizing the difficulties of memorizing the thousand character classic. The lines are changed from the original chant to a clever rhyme that loosely translates into Sky Chion, Tian Earth G, De Nurung G in the Gamaso cauldron pot. Korean. Hainul Chion Tda G Gama Sot Nulung G. Topic Latin America. Scorched rice is known as kukayo, pagayo, cocolin, concolin, raspa, raspado, and concone in the Caribbean. In Colombian cuisine, scorched rice is called pega or pego. It is often consumed with vegetable toppings as a cracker, or served in soups. It is also eaten alone or used to make leftovers. In Dominican cuisine, scorched rice is called concone. In Puerto Rican cuisine, scorched rice is called pagayo. In Ecuador, cucayo is the name given to food items that are meant for travel, derived from cucayu for a ration of coca. It is believed this may be the case for the etymology of kukayo in Colombia. Topic: <inaudible> Philippines. Tutong is used for a wide variety of dishes in Philippine cuisine, even as flavoring for ice cream. Some people may consider it a poverty food, but others eat it because they enjoy the taste. Spain Socorat can also refer to the crust that forms on the bottom of the pan when cooking paella. 2. Vietnam In Vietnamese cuisine, it is called com shé literally, scorched rice. It is typically fried in oil until golden brown, then topped with cha bong pork floss or tom ko dried shrimp, mo han chopped scallions cooked by pouring boiling oil over them to release their aroma, and chili paste to produce a popular dish called kam shay cha bong or kam shay tom ko although both the pork and shrimp may be used, in which case the dish is called kam shay cha bong tom ko or kam shay tom ko cha bong. Kam shé may be made from the crust of rice left over from cooking rice in an iron pot, or, more commonly since the advent of electric rice cookers in the late 20th century, from leftover rice that is fried in oil over high heat to acquire a crispy texture. See also Cooked rice 
Sung Young.